Hey guys, I'm Italia and this is Timofey. And we are with Mom's Dish. Today, we're bringing you guys something special. We love our waffle maker, we love hacks. We decided to marry those two together and we're bringing you guys the ultimate waffle hacks. Yes, we've been using a waffle maker for more than just waffles. We have breakfast, we have lunch, dessert, literally all day you can just cook with your waffle maker. So if you ever get stuck somewhere, just bring that with you and you're covered. <laughs> yep, I'm excited to get started. Okay, let's go. Let's go. My favorite mom hack is making pizza in a waffle maker. It's probably gonna be my favorite thing of all. So, I have this little piece of pizza dough. What I'll do is like stretch it out and I'll place one in each one of the sections. Just like this. It's already sizzling. I need to work fast. But it makes tiny little pizzas filled with cheesy bubbles, pepperoni, so good. You can add some sauce if you guys like sauce at home. And I put some cheese on here in the center. Cheese here, piece of pepperoni. Let's cover it up with another piece on top. Okay, this one's fully covered. Okay. This will need probably a little extra time because pizza dough does need a little more time to cook, but it'll probably be just at about the right timing. Okay, it's ready, it just beeped, so let's see. So crispy. We'll cut them apart and boys are waiting in the next room to enjoy them. They don't wanna get on camera, I don't know why, but they're super hungry, so I'm gonna take this waffles to them. On to the next thing. <laughs> next one is quesadilla. We have tortillas here and some cheese. You can use any cheese. We just pop on these things in here, fill it up with some cheese, and it creates these cheesy bubbles. So delicious. If you have little kids at home, this should be your staple because every kid loves a cheesy tortilla. Close it up, and we wait just a little bit until the cheese melts. Close this over like this, and we just wait a little bit. I hear the cheese popping, so let's get this out of here. Beautiful. My favorite thing about this is the way it creates cheesy pockets. Just break it apart. Look at this cheesy goodness. Nothing better. So every time you bite into it, there's like a crispy part and a cheesy part. It's like Pockets of cheese pretty much, so good. Now there's no better protein than, what was it called? Egg. You're gonna make eggs. The way you do that is you first apply some spray to the um, waffle maker. Um, I already had some before, so it's not too bad. Um, then you whisk up the eggs. I'm gonna close this so it doesn't cover me up. <laughs> good idea. Whisk up the eggs. Right. I love this. Breakfast in bed, ladies. <laughs> Why do we whisk, whisk, uh, whisk up the eggs? I mean, you don't have to, but I feel like it will give you a smoother texture. Yeah. Um, and then put some cheese in there. We have some mozzarella cheese for, for cheesy flavoring. bites. Yeah. Right. And uh, because the cheese is already salted, you don't have to add salt. Wow. <laughs> I love it. Like an expert. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, I'll help you out. How about this? I'm going to open it up. Then you just put some eggs pour it in there. Just do it in the center. You should be fine. I'll pour out everywhere. Beautiful. Perfect amount. That's so it was perfect. two eggs. Two eggs, yes. Yep. Just wait. Perfect. And the cool thing about it is that it will actually beep and let you know when it's ready, just like it does with waffles. Yeah, most of the time it will be pretty accurate. Mm -hmm. Are they exploding? <laughs> You want to grab a plate to be appropriate. I think uh, it's ready. Look at our Oh, I love the cheesy. And it just, just beeped. So it's right on perfect. Look at it. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, let me grab that. Look at that. Oh yeah, wow. <laughs> Perfection. It is so hot. This actually is really, really cool. And what I like about it 
is it has those texture that is so much more flavorful than just a plain egg. Man, I'm excited, I wanna try this. I love it. Love the cheesiness. Mmm, very good. Definitely not a fail. Mm -mm. All right, on with the next step. <laughs> Another thing you can make for breakfast in a waffle maker are hash browns. So I have some hash brown potatoes, some cheese and egg and some salt. I'm gonna just kind of combine it together and the egg helps to hold it together. If you have teenagers at home, you can teach them this hex or let them watch this video. They're perfectly fine. Oil. There you go. This does shrink, so I like to fill it up kind of generously. I think the hash brown is ready, all nice and crispy. Let's see. There you go. Ah. <laughs> there you go. I was able to move it over. Crispy potatoes, cheesy, has a little bit of an egg flavor. Delicious. On to the next thing. Did you know you can make cinnamon rolls in a waffle maker? You definitely can. I'm scared to pull this thing apart because they pop. <laughs> I haven't done this in a long time. We usually make homemade cinnamon rolls. I need help. Jacob, open it up. Do you know how to open this thing? You don't? <laughs> nice to have boys. <laughs> this is why I need your help. You gotta twist it. And there's cinnamon rolls. We're gonna make them in a waffle maker. Okay, we're just gonna place one of these things inside. It's getting a little steamy in there. Press it down and turn it over. There you go. Manly power. Turn it over. And the whole waffle cool. needs to turn. Yep. It's nice and golden. It smells really good. I think cinnamon got a lot more like browning on it, but it's beautiful. I want to like do a nice drizzle. Ah, this is pretty. Yeah, it's good. Uh, cheers. Cheers. Well, we'll have to tap. <laughs> Oh, cheers. Oh, it's yeah. dripping, it's hot, huh? Uh -huh? I'm gonna do a little smaller piece. Okay, I'm gonna make the rest of them as you go enjoy this one. Thank you, honey. <laughs> Next thing we're making is this chocolate chip cookies. You can do your own homemade cookies. How do I open this? You can get the ones at Trader Joe's, are delicious. Put one in each. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I haven't made this specific cookies in this waffle maker, so we'll see what happens. Maybe they'll connect all together. Squeeze it. Turn it. That's all. I feel like this was the best way to wrap up this video. Ah, the cookies look good. I just need to gently remove them from here because I want to keep them soft while still having that crispy layer. You can serve them with ice cream and we're just gonna enjoy them. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Yep. <laughs> yep. So what did you think about uh, the dishes? What was, your, what was your favorite dish? Mine? Yeah. I would have to say cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon, I love the cinnamon rolls. It is so sinful. But I do like the bubbly quesadilla would have to be my like, Aligned close to that one. Well, we're thinking alike. Yeah, those two dishes are good. And sometimes you play around with it. Some things work great, some not. And we did have a little bit of trouble with the uh, chocolate chip uh, cookies. cookies. Yes. So just make sure you have it all oiled up and everything. But overall, it was it went pretty well. Yeah, it's a good, uh, fun activity to do with the family or if you have a waffle maker, it's a really good tool to have in the kitchen, right? Oh yeah, it's amazing. And I mean, but that's all we can think of. So, but if you come up with other dishes, other ideas, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to try them as well. Yeah. When I hear from you, let us know. And I think that's it. So subscribe because we're definitely coming back. We're coming back. All right, see you next time, bye.